dear students welcome in this introductory video of your course teaching and learning teaching and learning is a compulsory course of b.ed first year and this course believes that learning and teaching should be viewed holistically they are not different systems and this course also believes that learning and teaching is a process for construction of knowledge as you will progress in this course you will be able to identify appropriate learning strategies which you can adopt to facilitate the construction of knowledge among your learners and this course will also help you in analyzing the complex nature of teaching learning process dear learners in this course we will explore various dimensions of teaching learning process and we will also discuss about role of a teacher as a professional as well as as a facilitator for learning not only this we will also discuss about role of a teacher as an innovator and as an action researcher our course is divided into four blocks block one learning perspectives and approaches basically focus in this course is on understanding the meaning nature and processes of learning along with different theories of learning and approaches to learning the second block of the course is basically focusing on the learner so the title of the block is understanding the learner who is learner what are different types of learners what are the factors which are related to learner and which are associated with learning like intelligence personality attitude aptitude motivation all these have been discussed in detail in this block the block 3 of the course is dealing with the teaching learning process so we discuss in this block about teaching as a profession we also discuss role of teacher in providing dynamic curricular experiences we will talk about different planning whether it is annual planning unit planning or lesson planning we will also discuss about different resources which you can use to facilitate teaching learning and how you can manage your classroom the block 4 of this course teacher as a professional talks about diverse role of teachers multiple responsibilities which are on teachers how a teacher can be an innovator how a teacher can use action research for improving the teaching learning also what is the role of a teacher as a reflective practitioner and what are different opportunities for a teacher for his or her professional development all these things have been discussed in block 4 let us discuss unit wise that what are the major key points in each unit of this course the unit 1 is understanding learning this unit talks about meaning and dimensions of learning what is learning and what is not what are different concepts which are related to learning like maturation teaching and instruction what are the factors which are facilitating learning and different learning styles and pace of learning the unit 2 of the course approaches to learning it basically talks about some common assumptions about learning the behaviorist approach the cognitivist approach and the constructivist approach also merits and demerits of each approach this unit also discusses about choosing an appropriate approach for your learners unit 3 of the course learning for construction of knowledge in this unit we have discussed about various dimensions of constructivism ideas of different constructivists like piaget bruner vygotsky novak also what are the utility of those ideas in teaching learning process what is the role of zone of proximal development scaffolding cognitive apprenticeship tutoring etc in teaching learning and also this unit provides you a deeper understanding of constructivism unit 4 is learning in various contexts 
This unit basically explores various learning strategies which you can adopt or choose as per the nature and context of learning. The unit has discussed methods like active learning, situated learning, collaborative learning, and these methods will help you to design your teaching learning activities when you will teach. And also the unit discusses about learning out of the school children, which is a meaningful dimension of teaching learning practices. Unit 5 talks about learner in socio-cultural context. In this unit, we have discussed about socio-cultural diversities among learners, changing perception about learners as active learners, then various factors which are affecting learners, then different characteristics of different types of learners like auditory, visual and kinesthetic learners, then learners with different learning styles in your classroom and various types of differently abled learners. So this unit basically focuses on helping you in identifying your learners, in knowing your learners. Unit 6 talks about some characteristics of learners. So the title of the unit is Learner as an Individual. In this unit, we discuss about the intelligence as well as the misconceptions associated with the intelligence. Then concepts of IQ, EQ and SQ. We talk about theory of multiple intelligence and role of personality of an individual in learning. Similarly, unit seven, which is an extension of unit six. In this unit, we talk about various factors associated with learning, like role of learner preparedness, motivation, attitude, aptitude, and other factors which facilitate learning. Then role of curiosity, creativity, and interest in learning. Unit eight talks about teaching. So what is the nature of teaching? Teaching is a morally led activity, teaching, learning and instructions, various teaching styles, teaching models, phases of teaching. All these things have been discussed in this unit. Then unit nine talks about planning. So in this unit, we talk about common consideration for instructional planning. We talk about annual planning, unit planning and lesson planning. Also, we give you a critical view of behaviorist approach and our focus has been shifted in this unit on constructivist approach of lesson planning. Then we talk about concept map, which is an important planning tool and 5e model of lesson planning, which you can use while planning your teaching learning. Then unit 10 talks about organizing teaching learning. So in this unit, our focus is on exploring various approaches of instructions. Then we talk about traditional teacher centered approaches, some learner centered approaches and some group centered techniques. And we also talk about different cooperative learning techniques, which you can use in your classroom. Then unit 11 of the course teaching learning resources, focusing on various types of learning resources, classroom learners and their experiences at learning resources then how you can develop improvised resources, how you can use different ICTs as a resource in your teaching learning, and also how you will identify and select a resource and integrate it in your teaching learning. So different criteria have been discussed in this unit. Then unit 12 of the course discusses about managing classroom teaching learning. In this unit, we talk about understanding the learner's need for organizing teaching learning. Then what are the factors which are affecting classroom management? Pluralistic classroom, managing behavioral problems, time management, all have been discussed with techniques and methods. Then organizing teaching learning experiences to facilitate learners. Unit 13 of the course talks about teacher in diverse role. Teacher as a human being. Then what is the effect of teachers belief, behavior and practices on teaching learning process? Then role of the teacher as a planner, manager, content provider, facilitator, leader and co-creator and role of teacher in diverse perspectives. 14th unit of the course talks about teacher as innovator and action researcher. So in this unit, our focus is on innovations in teaching learning process. Then what are different types of innovation? Then what is role of a teacher in bringing innovation? Then we discuss action research, what are different forms of action research, how you can conduct action research, what is your role 
in doing external research and reporting it. Similarly, in unit 15, our focus is on teacher as a reflective practitioner. So here we talk about reflection, its need and importance. Then we talk about different types of reflections, then strategies and methods for reflection, then practices to become a reflective practitioner. And in the last unit of the course, that is on professional development, we talk about the need of professional development as well as facilities available for continuous professional development of teachers. Here we analyze different schemes and programs which are linked with continuous professional development of teachers. What are different ways and means for continuous professional development? How you can utilize ICT mediated professional development opportunities and you can grow as a lifelong learner. So dear learners, if you are not getting our study material, then you have two options. The one option is our eGyan course website from where you can download our study material. The second option is Ignu eContent app, which is on Android. So you can download material from here on your mobile phone. If you see the structure of any unit in our course, you will find there is some opening section. Then there is main body, which has content and there are some ending sections. So our suggestion for you is that please read carefully each and every unit. Don't jump sections, go section by section. Read at least one section in one sitting and use the marginal space given in the unit to jot down your important points, points for further clarification or points for extra study. We also suggest you that after completing one section, please attempt the check your progress exercises given after the section compare your answers with the possible answers given at the end of the unit and reread the content if required after reading of a unit you should write answers of the questions given at the end and you should perform the activities which are suggested you are suggested to attend the counseling sessions which are on weekends at your study center share your queries with your peers during counseling take their views make best use of our material and supplement your reading with other easily available resources. So dear learners, begin your journey for becoming a great teacher. I hope that this discussion will help you in understanding the course teaching and learning. Thank you very much.